สวัสดีครับ Good morning and good afternoon, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is p r a s h i a b u n k w a n I'm a researcher from National Electronics and Computer Technology Center or NECTEC NASTA. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you in Thailand and in Japan. On-site guests here in press conference room, King m o n g k u t Building, Office of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation at YOT, and online guests um, via Cisco WebEx meeting. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for this auspicious occasion of Thai's Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement Signing Ceremony. The event is also live stream on Facebook fan page NASTA s o w a t a s h a w So, without further ado. I would like to invite Dr. Chadama t u w a s e t a k u n the Executive Vice President of NASTA, to the podium to commence the event by introducing the Thais Tokyo Tech Program and the Phase Four of the Implementation Agreement. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Chief of Mission, the Embassy of Japan. Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation; Executive Director, National Research Council of Thailand; Presidents of Tokyo Institute of Technology or Tokyo Tech; King m o n g k u t University of Technology t h o n b u r i King m o n g k u t Institute of Technology l a d g r a b a n g k a s e t s a t University; Mahidol University. National Science and Technology Development Agency, Director of Serinthorn International Institute of Technology, t h a m m a s a t University. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. สวัสดีค่ะ On behalf of Thai Tokyo Tech Executive Board, I have the honor to give a brief report on the Thai Tokyo Tech Program and the Implementation Agreement Phase Four. Which is going to be signed in today's ceremony. Thai Tokyo Tech, or Thailand Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, Tokyo Institute of Technology Program, has been established under the National Science and Technology Development Agency, or NASDA, since 2007, to be an institution for human resource development, to produce world-class researchers. And engineers, which Thailand is very much in need. The main objectives of Thai Tokyo Tech are human resource development of high-quality graduate-level researchers or engineers, which is essential in building a knowledge-based economy and society. Building up science and technology capability in Thailand. Strengthening international cooperation on science and technology graduate studies, building personal network based on the collaboration by researchers both in Japan and Thailand, as well as all parties concerned, establishing NASDA University industry collaboration on an international basis, exchanging students and researchers for study and research. The first phase of the collaboration is from 2007 to 2011. The second phase from 2012 to 2017, and the third phase from 2017 to 2021, is respectively. The program is a tripartite partnership among NASDA, Tokyo Tech, and a number of Thai universities, namely. King Mongkut Institute of Technology l a d g r a b a n g Sirinthorn International Institute of Technology t h a m m a s a t University, King Mongkut University of Technology Thailand t h o n b u r i k a s e t s a t University and uh, Mahidol University, each contributing their res uh, their resources and expertise. In delivering world-class education to students, NASDA finance scholarship funding and provide NASDA's researchers to be to co-supervise students for their thesis or research project. Tokyo Tech covers travel expense to send the faculty staff 
to deliver lectures and or supervising students. And the Thai Partners University provide co-lecturer and grant a degree to qualified Thai Tokyo Tech students in three academic master's degree program, automotive engineering, information and communication technology, and sustainable energy and resources engineering. Since the establishment, Thai Tokyo Tech has produced around 460 graduates. Of these, 60% working in industry, 20% in university and government agency, 14% continue studying in the PhD level in Thailand and abroad, mostly in Japan. These graduates have published more than 300 journal articles and conference papers. Approximately 46% of the journal articles are published in Q1 and Q2 journals. Due to the change in the research and innovation governance structure, as well as the research and innovation budgeting system in Thailand, NASA's role was changed from being an organization performing R&D granting and grant uh, management, as well as R&D operation, to being an organization performing solely R&D operation. In this regard, we are much grateful to receive financial support from the National Research Council of Thailand, or NRCT, which is the country's main organization sponsoring funds for research and innovation in science, technology, social science, and humanities, and for activities in projects relating to human resource development in science, technology, and innovation. Through this implementation agreement that will be signed today, our partner Thai universities, Tokyo Tech and NRCT, agree to cooperate in the fourth phase of the Thai Tokyo Tech program in three academic graduate programs, which have been revised to better suit the current and future demand of the industry, namely, automotive and advanced transportation engineering, artificial intelligence and internet of things, and sustainable energy and resources engineering, and one certificate program on rail transportation. NRCT will provide financial support for tuition fees and monthly allowances for students enrolled in those programs. The Thai University Partners will chair partial financial support to their students. Tokyo Tech will support travel expense to send the faculty staff to deliver lectures, to deliver lectures and to supervise students and, and NASDA manage the overall program and distribute scholarship funding from NRCT to the Thai University partners. The support from NRCT will cover one batch of 70 students for the academic year 2022. Scholarship financing for academic year 2023 until academic year 2027, which is the length of the phase four uh, implementation, will be contingent upon the performance report and the budget situation. May I now invite Professor Dr. Siri Rook Song Sit Vilai, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation, Thailand, to give the welcome remarks. Thank you. Uh, Excellency, the Deputy Chief of Mission of the Embassy of Japan, uh, Mr. Oba Yuichi. Uh, presidents uh, of uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology, uh, presidents and uh, acting president of the King Mongkut University of Technology, Thonbui, Kasetsad University, Mahidon University, uh, King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Rad Kabang, National Science and Technology Development Agency, NSTDA, and Executive Director 
of the National Research Council of Thailand, uh, directors of the Sirin Thon International Institute of Technology, Thammasat University, uh, distinguished colleagues, both here on site in Bangkok and online. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation of the Royal Thai Government, it is my, my pleasure to welcome all of you to the signing ceremony of the Thai's Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement Phase 4 between uh, the Tokyo Institute of Technology and universities and agencies uh, under the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation of Thailand. And also personally, I'm very pleased uh, to be here among you. And I think that I know and I've been working with all the agencies' name. Uh, I have been visiting uh, Tokyo Tech uh, so many times in the past two decades and once served as the international advisor uh, to Tokyo Tech about 10 years ago. Uh, it's also a great pleasure to see the development of the Thai program in Thailand. The Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation is the main ministry in charge of higher education, science in all subjects, research and innovation. As a result, perhaps similar to Japan, of the merging between uh, the agencies and uh, government ministries in charge of higher education, in charge of science, social science, uh, as well as the funding agencies. So the agreement uh, between uh, Japan and Thailand uh, institutes in driving uh, the manpower development, especially the uh, development of manpower to fit with the demand of the industry and of the uh, social sectors is among the main theme of the ministries. We are overseeing the policy and implementation for higher education, uh, for research, for development, especially these will be in line with the national program for development and for competitiveness by strengthening research and development and upgrading the country's manpower, equipping ties with higher skills and capabilities uh, to realize our development goals, Thailand 4.0 concept, which is a value-based, innovative and technology-driven economy. The ministry has placed human development, human resource development, innovation, and the utilization of the knowledge very high on our priorities. For higher education, the ministry is now working with universities to redesign curriculum to meet with the demand in the real world and uh, to meet with the country's development. Uh, you might be aware that in the past six months, uh, there are several developments, especially on redesigning uh, the university programs, curriculum, and also the establishments of the new funds uh, to support higher education. The ministry also promotes cooperation between educational institutes here and abroad uh, together with the private sectors to produce manpower that, need, that meet with the private sector demand. I'm very glad to hear that the Thai Tokyo Tech program now to begin the phase four is well aligned uh, with our mission. The cooperation under this program involves co-development of curriculum in the areas that Thailand still have shortage of manpower in both uh, quality and quantity. And this will intensify uh, the students' research and engineering experience by engaging them in research that have industrial partners to the extent possible. In this regard, I would like to thank all parties uh, for your continued contribution to the Thai Tokyo Tech Phase 4 
and particularly thanks uh, the National Science and Technology Development Agencies as the uh, focal point together with universities in Thailand and uh, thanks the National Research Council of Thailand and RCT for providing financial support uh, to this program. Uh, on the last note, I'm glad to inform you again that on January 11 this year, uh, the cabinet has approved the proposal to establish the higher education funds. Uh, this is a new funds uh, that, is, that will be instrumental to driving manpower development, uh, specifically on the high skill uh, human resource development and academic excellence for the country. For the country. Uh, we see that this funds is a good opportunity uh, for the program like the Thai Tokyo Tech that can be supported uh, under this new fund when it is fully operational in the perhaps by the end of this year. For the fiscal year uh, 2023, uh, the cabinet has approved uh, the budget uh, for this ministry uh, 143 billion baht, uh, which is representing uh, the top six uh, ministries uh, for the overall government budget. This budget allocation is made according to our new budgeting systems, allowing uh, block grants and multi-year budgeting, also first time for higher for high education and for research and development. This is certainly a very good news for us in the science, technology, and innovation community. Uh, the budget is focused on driving national agendas, such as, and uh, especially focused on the bio circular green economy, BCG, and to build competitiveness uh, for the long term development. Again, uh, I would like to thank all of you for your great contribution uh, to the Thais Tokyo Tech program and wish all those involved good health and success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Siddhartha, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation of Thailand. And um, for this um, event, I think I would like to introduce you a little bit more about the program. Thai's Tokyo Tech program was initiated in 2007 by NASDA, and its intention is to produce world-class scientists and engineering, um, and to leverage human resource development in Thailand. Now the program is in phase four, and um, their university partners, uh, which include Tokyo Tech, um, KMUTT, KM, KMITL, SIT, Kasetsat University and Mahido University. It offers three um, research fields, automotive engineering, um, information and com communication technology and sustainable engineering, um, sustainable energy and um, renewable energy um, engineering, yes. And um, so for today, um, as of today, um, Thai's Tokyo Tech program has produced 460 graduates, 60% um, of which are working in the industry, 20% in the universities and government agencies, and the, the remaining continue studying in the PhD level in Thailand and abroad, mostly in Japan. Um, I think it's an excellent opportunity to leverage human resource development in both countries. So I think right now the, um, the stage is ready. So yes, so yeah, it's, it's already set up. So we are, we are now honored to have Mr. Oba Yuichi, the Deputy Chief of Mission, the Embassy of Japan, to deliver a, con a congratulatory speech. Thank you. Uh, Professor uh, Siriluk uh, Sonsiwilai, uh, Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation. Uh, Dr. Uh, Wipolat Diom. Executive Director of National Research Council of Thailand, uh, Dr. Nalong Silut Wolagun, uh, President of National Science and Technology Development Agency, and Dr. Kazuya Masub, 
president of Tokyo Institute of Technology. Uh, distinguished participants from Thailand, Japan, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sadikap, Wagozaimasu. On behalf of the Embassy of Japan in Thailand, I'd like to express my congratulations to all of you present here uh, online today. It is truly a great honor uh, for me uh, to be here to celebrate the signing ceremony of the agreement between Thais and the Tokyo Institute of Technology uh, for the continuation of this excellent program. I do hope uh, through this program phase four, uh, Thai and Japanese universities will further enhance cooperation in human resource uh, development. Currently, uh, Japan and Thailand are facing the same current kind of uh, social problems, such as declining birth rates and aging population. And both countries are also working toward ambitious goals that seek to achieve continued economic growth and environmental protection, such as decarbonization. To achieve these goals, co-creation is underway between the two countries in various fields in line with the Thailand 4.0 policy aiming at industrial advances. And there is co coordination between Thailand's BCG economic model and Japan's green growth strategy, which also includes R&D cooperation in the field of biocircular and green with NASDA. I believe the development of human resources who are well versed in science, technology, and innovation is key to advancing uh, these challenging efforts for the future. Japan has contributed to human resource development in cooperation with Thailand, as ex exemplified by our support for the training of in engineers in Thailand through the Kosen project. I look forward to further cooperation between Japan and Thailand in fostering human resources who will lead the future of our two countries. The Embassy of Japan in Thailand will continue to actively support such initiatives that will play a key role in Thailand's future. I also recognize that this kind of cooperation and exchanges has a very significant effect in terms of friendly relations between the two countries. Personally, uh, I had a great opportunity to work as a visiting lecturer at the Tokyo Institute of Technology uh, uh, in Japan, in Okayama, uh, for a short while in 2013, almost nine years ago. And then I had a very exciting interactions with excellent students from Japan and Asia. Through this personal experience, uh, I have learned that exchanges between students and researchers of both countries will not only have a synergetic effect on research, but also lead to mutual understanding of each other's society, environment, and values, which can be a cornerstone of bilateral relations between the two countries. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, this year marks the 135th anniversary of Japanese and Thailand diplomatic relations. Um, in the last two years, uh, unfortunately, it was uh, difficult for both Japan and Thailand to conduct face-to-face -face exchanges due to the COVID-19 situation. But I'm lucky, I'm happy we are right now here today, face-to-face. <laughs> -face. um, however, as of March of this year, Entry restrictions have been uh, eased in both countries, making it easier for students and business people to travel cross-border. I hope that this milestone year for both countries will bring about the resumption of many exchanges and deepen the relationship between the two countries even more than before. Lastly, I'd like to conclude my remarks by expressing my hope that this agreement will lead to further development of friendly relations between the two countries through stronger partnership between Thai excellent universities and the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Thank you very much. Kopunka. Thank you very much, Mr. Yuji, Deputy Chief of Mission, the Embassy of Japan. Next, I'd like to invite Dr. Viparat Diong, the Executive Director of National Research Council of Thailand, or in our city, to present her speech. Thank you. Sadika. 
Professor Dr. Sirer Song Sivirai, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation. Mr. Obayuichi, Deputy Chief of Mission Embassy of Japan. Professor Dr. Kasuya Matsu, President of Tokyo Institute of Technology, Japan. Dr. Narong Sirer Dwarakun, President of National Science and Technology Development Agenda. Or NASDA. Associate Professor Dr. Somyot Kiet, Kiet Wanit Vilai, representative of the President of King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Lat Kabang. Associate Professor Dr. Suwit Satya, President of King Mongkut University of Technology, Thonburi. Professor Dr. Pukta Natnakorn, Director of Srinthorn International Institute of Technology, Thammasat University. Dr. Jongrak Vacharin Rat, President of Kasesat University, and Professor Banjong Mahaisawa Ria, President of Maidon University. Ready, and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Research Council of Thailand or NRCT, Minister of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation, I would like to extend my sincere application to Professor Sirer Song Sirai, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Research and Innovation, for visiting over the Thai Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement signing ceremony today. With Atabis among National Research Council of Thailand, National Science and Technology Development Agency, Tokyo Institute of Technology, King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Ratkabang. Serinthorn International Institute of Technology, Thammasat University, Kasesat University, King Mongkut University of Technology, Thomali, and Maidon University. According to duty, the Office of National Research Council of Thailand, or NRCT, Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation, is not responsible for being one of the main funding agencies for research and innovation, managing national database and indicators on science, research, and innovation, initiating and managing national key research and innovation program, formulating and managing national research standards and ethical conducts on research, disseminating and transferring research knowledge to relevant stakeholder for commercial, social, and economical benefits, supporting development of human resources on research and innovation, and providing award and recognition of research and innovation. In this regard, National Research Council of Thailand, or LCT, have given importance to strengthening and develop improvements of human resources capability as all rewards in order to serve the government policy on economic development and competitiveness plan on this method. NRCTS Program Management Unit or a funding agency of promoting and supporting research and innovation is divided to be the main agency of budget allocation for the Development of high skilled researchers and engineers, Thailand at one Institute of Science and Technology. Tokyo Institute of Science and Technology, Thai Tokyo Tech. Scholarships Program 2022-2024. The program is assured that the production and development of the country's personnel this time will and able to help the country achieve sustainable economic knowledge and development system. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Vitara, the Executive Director of NRCT. Next, I would like to invite Professor Dr. Kazuya Masu, the President of Tokyo Institute of Technology, to deliver his speech from Japan. Thank you. Thank you for uh, your kind introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Kazuyama's president of Tokyo Institute of Technology. Dr. Shirirurugusong Sibirai, Dr. Naron Shirirat Worakun, 
、ドクター・チャダマス・ツバセ・ククル、ドクター・ソムヨット・カイトワニ・ドビライ、ドクター・アプル・エッタ・ナナコン、ドクター・チョン・グラック・ワリチン・ラティ、ドクター・スビット・サエ・ティア、プロフェッサー・バンチョン・マハイ・サバリア、ドクター・ウィアラトディオンミスターユイチオバジャパニーズエンバシー Esteemed members of the board,、uh, distinguished guests, it is my great pleasure and honor to be here at the signing ceremony for the fourth phase of the TIST Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement, which is now coming into effect thanks to your kind efforts and cooperation. Especially, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the National Research Council of Thailand, or NRCT, for making considerable contributions to Thais to Tokyo Tech. I feel extremely honored that NRCT has sympathized with the idea and practices of Thais to Tokyo Tech. And kindly decided to provide such general support to the program. For many years, Tokyo Tech has enjoyed close relationship with Thailand, NASDA, and Thai universities in various collaborations, such as academic exchange and research cooperation. Thanks to these relationships, HIST Tokyo Tech is an epoch making joint graduate education program supported by the sustained efforts of the faculty members, researchers, and staff members of NASDA, KMITL, KMUTT, SIIT, Hasesato University, and Mahidon University. With your Enormous contributions, we have produced more than 450 outstanding alumni whose worldwide achievement has been strengthening ties between academia and industry and between Japan, Thailand, and neighboring Asian nations. These networks led to the establishment of Tokyo Tech's first annex in Bangkok. In March 2018, which aims to accelerate academia industry collaboration in Thailand. It is our extreme honor to welcome NRCT to such a successful program in this fourth phase of the agreement. Last but not least, on behalf of Tokyo Tech, I would like to Reiterate my heartfelt appreciation to all of you and your kind support. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much, Professor Masu, President of Tokyo Institute of Technology. Next, I'd like to invite Professor Dr. Junichi Imura, Executive Vice President for Education, Tokyo Institute of Technology, to greet all participants. He is the successor to Professor Misumoto, the former Executive Vice President for Education, from the 31st of March 2020,、uh, 2022, and he will join the Thai Tokyo Tech Executive Board meetings from August onwards. So please welcome Professor Imura. Thank you. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased to meet you.、Uh, looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Oops. Thank you very much, Professor Imura, the Executive Vice President for Education, Tokyo Institute of Technology. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Narong Sidilert Warakun, the President of NASDA, the host of the ceremony today, to deliver his speech. Thank you very much. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Excellency, Deputy Chief of Mission, the Embassy of Japan, Mr. Oba Yuichi, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Higher Education, Science, 
Research and Innovation Professor Dr. Sri Lok Songsi Vilai, President of Tokyo Institute of Technology, King Mungkut Institute of Technology, Lat Kabang, King Mungkut University of Technology, Thonburi, Kasesat University, Mahidon University, Director of Srinthorn International Institute of Technology, SIIT, Thammasat University, the National Research Council of Thailand, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and good afternoon. On behalf of the National Science and Technology Development Agency, or NASDA, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all university partners for your commitment to continue the collaboration of Thai Tokyo Tech in the fourth phase. Also, I would like to give a special thanks to the National Research Council of Thailand for providing scholarship support for the Thai Tokyo Tech students batch 2022, with its first batch of the fourth phase, and joining the ceremony today. According to the National Science and Technology Act 1991, NASDAQ was established and was tasked with one important mission to develop scientific and technological human resources. To this end, NASDAQ has implemented a lens of human resources development program to serve various purposes, ranging from inspiring youth to pursue STEM careers, developing s and workforce for industry and research organization, and upgrading skills of s and workforce. Our program has been aimed to lift up the capability of young talents in research and development, which is in line with the country's strategy. We have provided scholarships to prepare young talents for rewarding career in R&D to various programs, such as Junior Science Talent Program, or JSTP, Thailand Graduate Institute of Science and Technology, or TGIST, Young Sciences and Technologies Program, or YSTP, NASDA University Research and Education Collaboration, and of course, Thai Tokyo Tech Program. It has different mechanisms, but serves the same purpose to strengthen the capability of s and human resources in Thailand. Among them, Thai Tokyo Tech is the only international program. Through these years, NASDA HRD programs has been increasingly recognized by various stakeholders. For example, since 2013, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand has selected NASDA scholarship students, including Thai Tokyo Tech, as young Thai science ambassadors to visit science and technology related organizations and to experience cultural exchange in several countries, such as China, Israel, Korea, Taiwan, and many times in Japan. Many Thai Tokyo Tech students were selected to join Genesis 2.0, which is a Japanese governance program to promote interest in Japan among youth in Asian and Pacific countries. Going forward, we hope to see Thai Tokyo Tech play an important role to produce high quality human resources to be a vital workforce to drive Thailand development goals set forth in the key strategic programs, particularly the development of Eastern Economic Corridor of Innovation, or EECI, the BCG or BIO, Circular and Green strategy which Thailand is embarking as a new economic model for inclusive and sustainable growth. I'm pleased to see that our academic programs offered in Tokyo Tech is well aligned with BCG direction. And in the longer term, I wish to see Thai Tokyo Tech proceed to be a successful and sustainable platform to develop high-quality researchers and engineers, not only for Thailand, 
but also for the ASEAN region. Lastly, I would like to thank our partners once again for your contribution to the Thai Tokyo Tech, and I look forward to the success of the fourth phase and beyond implementation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Narong, President of NASDAQ. And um, on with the program, we are now running through the Thai University partners. So let's begin with the first item. Um, the first one, King Mongus Institute of Technology, Latgabang, or KMITL, contributes the course of automotive engineering to the program. I'd like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Somyot Kietwanit Vilai, the representative of the Dean of KMITL, to deliver his speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, dear esteemed uh, colleagues and honorable guests, first of all, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all parties for inviting me to this event. It is such a great pleasure to be here for celebrating a common vision, the pursuit of collaboration on Thai Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement in Fed 4 which is enhancing the international alliance and advancing Japan and Thailand development of higher research, the cultivation of highly skilled engineers, and the strengthening of industrial, academics, and government networks. As the world is changing faster than ever, KMTL has a vision to go beyond the limit, and we are aiming to differentiate of innovation and technology as well as Build up on hands on engineer with multi skills, uh, preparing to the global engineer who will be the key persons in working to uplift countries and the world uh, prosperity. On behalf of KMTL, I would like to express my sincere appreciation for enduring and fruitful association between us. And may I hope that we will together work more closely in order to achieve common goals of development for mutual benefits. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Somyot, the representative of the Dean of Chemitel. Next on the program, King's Mokud University of Technology, Tonburi, or Kemuti, contributes the course of automotive engineering to the program. I'd like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Suwit Satya, Dean of KMUT, to deliver his speech. Thank you. Deputy Chief of Mission, the Embassy of Japan, Mr. Oba Yuji, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation, President of Tokyo Institute of Technologies, Mahidon University, King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Lakabang, National Science and Technology Development Agencies and, and Executive Directors of National Research Council of Thailand, Silinton International Institute of Technology, Thammasa University, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Sawadikap. On behalf of King Nongkut University of Technology, Thonburi, Thailand, as the president, I'm delighted to be a part of the program of Thai Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement Phase 4 signing ceremony today. It is a great honor and pleasure for KMUTT to have the opportunity to sign the Thai Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement for the fourth phase. This agreement is a significant achievement of our ongoing cooperation. From the initiation of the first phase of the agreement in 2007 until the present, all the related parties have agreed to sign the agreement and cooperate in the three joint graduate programs and one curriculum in the field of engineering and technology, which combine Thai and Japanese education. Furthermore, KMUTT, which is involved in the automotive and advanced transportation engineering program, would be pleased to continue to support all the programs and to develop the fruitful relationship 
with all the parties. Finally, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude for having came UTT in this project, in this connection. I do hope that our close cooperation will be further strengthened in the next future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Suwit, the Dean of Kemuti. Next, Sirin Ton International Institute of Technology, or SIIT, Thammasat University, contributes two courses to the program. The first one is Information and Communication Technology, and the second one is Sustainable Energy and Resources Engineering. I'd like to invite the Director of SIIT, Professor Dr. Prutha Nanakon, to deliver his speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Higher Education, Sai Research and Innovation, Thailand. Executive Director, National Research Council of Thailand, or NRCT. Deputy Chief of Mission, Embassy of Japan. Honorable Representatives of the Participating Institutes. Thai Tokyo Tech Program colleagues and distinguished guests. Good morning and good afternoon in Japan. We can certainly say that the Thai Tokyo Tech program is exceptionally successful. It has produced high quality research outputs with high impacts on society. Thanks to the close collaboration among NASDAQ, Tokyo Tech and the participating Thai University. The program has graduated more than 480 master degree students since its inception many years ago in 2007. After graduating from the Thai Tokyo Tech program, more than 80 graduates pursue their PhD st studies in Thailand and abroad, especially in Japan. Some of them sought their PhD degrees at Tokyo Tech. Among these graduates pursuing further study, around 40 have already been granted PhD degrees. Other program graduates went to work in reputable companies and organizations. Today is really a good day. It is my great pleasure to see that the Thai Tokyo Tech program will be continued into phase four under the support of NRCT with intensive collaboration among participating institutes, I'm confident that the program will, in its new phase, continue to produce high caliber engineers, technologists, and researchers for Thailand and for the region. I believe that the program has become the gold standard for this type of collaboration and will continue to contribute to the advancement in science and technology. Finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to NRCT for lending its support to the program. The support provided by NRCT is crucial to the continuity of the program into its phase four. Also, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to our colleagues, namely NASDAQ, Tokyo Tech, KMITL, KMUTT, KU and MU for their outstanding contribution to the program. As one of the participating members, SIT commits to making a continuous effort to support this program towards our share success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Prutha, Director of SIIT, Thammasat University. Next, Kasesat University contributes two courses to the program. The first one is inf Information and Communication Technology, and the second one is Sustainable Energy and Resources Engineering. Um, I'd like to invite Dr. Jongrak Wacharindrat, Dean of Kasesat University, to deliver his speech. Thank you. Professor Dr. Sirila Song Sivilai the Permanent Secretary's Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research, and Innovation. Mr. Oba, Yuichi, the Deputy Chief of Mission, Embassies of Japan, Executives and the Presidents. I'm delighted to be here to be 
the tight Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement signing ceremony. This agreement is a significant milestone of our ongoing collaboration for many years because it's a university and our partner have focused on education development and practical research in a way involving all facing of engineering. Our students have benefited from the expertise and opportunities to work with experienced advisors from Tokyo Tech, NASDAQ, and other within the related industrial sectors. Most of our graduates have already entered the workforce and are pursuing valuable careers to meet the need of diverse industry and BCG sectors in Thailand. Kasetsat is an honor to be one of the partners in this collaborative project. The signing of this agreement symbolizes the sincere commitment of the party. And I'll be on behalf of Kasetsat University, I warmly pledge that we will do our utmost to support this commitment. I'm confident that our partnership will continue to lead the many new projects, joint projects and educational initiatives, produce new synergies and add academic value for all of us in this year ahead. I look forward to the technical and academic innovation that I know will be beneficial and all institutions involved and also to both of our countries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Zhong Rak, Dean of Kasesot University. Last but not least, um, we have Mahidon University. Uh, Mahidon University contributes the Rail Transportation Certificate Curriculum to the program. I would like to invite Professor Banjong Mahaisawariya, Dean of Mahidon University, to deliver his speech. Thank you. Professor Sirila Tsong Sivilai, Mr. Oba Yuichi, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be here today to offer my congratulations. We are here to celebrate the establishment of Thai's Tokyo Tech Program Phase 4. The classroom activities have been perfectly delivered to students since 2018 with the great Con collaboration from Thai's Tokyo Tech. After our successful many years, we have agreed to work together for our future academic activities. Despite the pandemic situation worldwide, this year we are ready to launch phase four. We will try our best to arrange the students on-site activities under strict access permission from the pandemic. We are also looking forward to establishing more research activities on rail transportation with the Thais Tokyo Text Program. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to our friends and colleagues at Thais Tokyo Tech uh, for your valuable contributions and to my colleagues from the Faculty of Engineering for their efforts in making this collaboration happen. This signing marks the continuing of a long and fruitful collaboration between us. I hope to be able to celebrate many more activities to come, and I wish to finally see you all in person once the pandemic has passed. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Ban Chong, the Dean of Mahido University. Now we are in the final session, signing ceremony of Thais Tokyo Tech Implementation Agreement. So I would like to invite Professor Dr. Kazuya Masu, uh, Dr. Jong Rak Wasarindrat, and Professor Ban Jong Mahaisawariya to sign the implementation agreement at your place. And here in the conference room, um, Dr. Viparat Di Ong, Dr. Narong Sidirat Warakun, Associate Professor Dr. Somyot Kiet Wanit Vilay, Associate Professor Dr. Suwit Satya, Professor Dr. Pritha Nanakorn, please sign the implementation agreement. Thank you.
Yep. And now it's time for the photo session. As always, two majestic shots will be distributed to the media. So for the first shot, um, so um, this is going to be a little bit of performance. Um, so the first shot, please hold your pen, act like you are signing the MOU, and look at the camera in the center, please. Nice shot. Okay, and for the second shot, please close the file, raise it on your left hand side, and look at the camera in the center. Thank you. It looks like this. Um, it's on the left hand side. Thank you. Yep. Yep, that's great. Nice shot. Wow, lovely. Okay, we have got the shot. So thank you very much. It's been a majestic event for today. And last but not least, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the following people. Um, Professor Dr. Sirida Song Sivilai, the Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Research and Innovation um, of Thailand. Mr. Oba Yuiji, the Deputy Chief of Mission, the Embassy of Japan. Dr. Viparat Di Ong, the Executive Director from National Research Council of Thailand. Professor Dr. Katsuya Masu, the President of Tokyo In Institute of Technology, Japan. Associate Professor Dr. Somyot Giet Wanit Bilai, the representative of the Dean of King Mongkus University Institute of Technology, Latgerbang. Associate Professor Dr. Suwit Satya, Dean of King Mongkus University of Technology, Tonburi. Professor Dr. Prita Nanakorn, the director of Sirenton International Institute of Technology, or SIT, Thammasat University. Dr. Chongrak Basarindat, Dean of Kasesat University. Professor Banjong Mahai Sawariya, Dean of Mahidon University, and Dr. Narong Sidirat Varakun, the President of NASTA. I wish you all health and safety during the pandemic. Thank you again for joining the ceremony today. Goodbye. Sawaddi Krab. Congratulations.